Hey YouTube, Johnny here. I'm uh, doing my second video in my OTC series, and today we're going to talk about Carter Hall. I'm smoking Carter Hall in my blue collar piper, primitive clay pipe. Awesome pipe from an awesome pipe maker who is also an awesome guy, so y'all should check him out. I have the link below in the bucket. So Carter Hall. Carter Hall is one of the more uh, available OTC blends. It's uh, you can get it on online your own any of your online tobacco shops. You can get it in Walmart. You can get it in the Mustang Drug Store. It is a very readily readily available blend. It's made by John Middleton Company. It was purchased by them in '87. I think R.J. Reynolds made it before them. And I'm trying to get a little more history actually of how far Carter Hall goes back because there's not a lot of information online about that. It was named after uh, Carter Hall Manor, which was uh, built by Lieutenant Colonel Nathaniel Burwell back in the late 1700s, and he was also a plantation farmer, so he had a lot of, uh, you know, he grew a lot of tobacco. So, on the tobacco, it is a uh, burly blend with, with a little Virginia in it. It is, uh, let's see if you can see. very fine cut the pouch aroma and it comes in a pouch one and a half ounce pouch or in a 14 ounce plastic tub the aroma it has has a nuttiness quality to it a very mild sweetness uh, almost like a like an almond a very mild nutty smell it also almost detects some um, some kind of alcohol maybe a maybe a wine or a um, some type of liquor top note I don't believe it's cased with anything. It's it's very it's there, but it's again it's mild. You'll hear me use the word mild a lot with this blend because that's exactly what it is. It uh, it smokes very mild. It smokes fairly cool, especially for an OTC blend. It does need to be sipped. It does need to be packed light. Uh, as you'll see in most of the OTC blends that I review coming up, you need to almost do like a gravity feed. And a little, a little pack, if any, uh, and smoke it there, and it'll still usually smoke. I mean, once I get, once I get the the char light, and then get her going, usually she goes all the way to the bottom of the bowl, just fine. It has a pleasant taste. It, uh, and of course, I need to relight as soon as I said that. So that's just, that's just typical. But it has, has a very pleasant taste. It has a pleasant aroma. Most people talk about how it, it smells like what their grandfather smoked. And that's what it calls it is what their grandfather smoked. It's not bitter. It uh, It's very smooth. As you get through the bottom of the bowl... That, that the nuttiness that you smell you never really get the that wine kind of smell you never that never really comes out in the taste but that nuttiness especially as you get toward the bottom of the bowl really starts to come out and again it's not a distinctive nuttiness like a like a walnut or a, a pecan but it's more like an almond kind of you know kind of that medium range mild flavor Really love this OTC blend. I've talked about before. It's uh, of the OTC blends that I have tried. It is by far my favorite, and I really, really recommend it. And the more I smoke it by itself, the more you know I enjoy it by itself. But also, where I feel like it really shines as a tobacco, not just as a standalone, is that in in mixing it is. It, and Burleys tend to do this anyway. It tends to take on the characteristics of anything that it's mixed with. Uh, I do myself, I do a 1Q half and half Carter Hall blend uh, that I think I really, really enjoy. But also really good if you have, especially if you're on a tight budget and you have that really, really good tin or you have a big bulk, you know, bag of something and you want to stretch it out, mix it in with a, you know, a third of Carter Hall or, or more. And uh, especially about that third range, it, it's not going to change the flavor profile very much at all. And it, but it's going to stretch that tobacco out because that car hall, especially if you let it sit, if you mix it and let it sit, it'll it'll take on the characteristics of what's around it. So 
I very much recommend Carter Hall. I hope you try it. And uh, if you haven't already, and like I said, if you've got a, a negative uh, idea of a stereotype of, of OTC blends, this is a really good one to try and maybe change your mind on them because it's uh, it's a good basic tobacco. And, and in my opinion, if you don't like Carter Hall, you may not like tobacco as much as you think you do. You may just like the flavoring or the... Uh, or uh, you know, some other aspects of tobacco, but it may not be the tobacco itself that you like. Uh, great one. Recommend it. Four out of five for me, and uh, there'll be more coming up in the future. Hope you all have a good weekend. Stay cool out there, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.